So we're actually in the playoffs right now. I did tell you guys I'm going to start doing a better job of uh, updating you guys with the series. But this Jamal Charles, I don't know if you guys saw it or not. The card looks great. Like, you'll probably be able to use this card to the end of Mutt. And that's what my goal for the purchases are. Like, any purchase I make now, I want to be able to use until the end of Mutt. So, I mean, like, with, with that being said, like, the Jamal Charles is like, just simply a must-have. Like, I got to get this card. So, I kind of fast-forwarded to, like, the cool parts, the good parts in this game. As you guys see right here, user pick. Look at all of this green in front of me. Like, I, I got to house it. So, yeah, like, the guy's connection was really bad. I know it's not my connection because, I don't know, my connection's done pretty good. Or maybe it was just our connection as a whole, like, you know. So, anyways, third and 19. This guy goes deep. We're up 14-0. And we get a drop pick. I think at that point, like, he was like, I I'm not going to win this game. I think I actually got the ball first, too. So, a comeback, like, if he goes down, he scores, he gets a stop. He could actually win the game. I think people rage quit or it might not even be, be rage. Just quit too fast and mutt in general. Now with that being said, this is the big Oreo guys. The big, like, the big Oreo. We're in the Super Bowl. Marquise Goodwin returning the kick. Doesn't get me to the 20. I kind of need my special teams to play a big role today. It's Jamal Charles. This is the video you're actually going to get to see what he could do. So Jamal Charles up the middle. I think he's averaging something like seven yards a carry right now. Something ridiculous. I run the screen. I get Jamal in some space. Juke, move Jamal. So we get to the 46. Another handoff to Jamal. Look at how quick and how agile he bounces the ball to the outside, down the sideline, into my opponent's territory. Uh, this play, I don't know why Jonas Gray came in. But that is my power back, right? Like, like, Gray is my best power back option right now. So he came in for two snaps, did his job, got us to third and two, got us to Jamal territory. And this is just bad stick skills, man. I was just running to get the first. But as you guys can see, like, this Jamal, so good. I, I just got, I got to get my stick skills right, man. My users are right on defense, just on offense. It, it could be a little better. Plot twist. This guy had a Jamal of his own. That had game breaking speed. Now I'm going to assume it was the new Jamal. It's, uh, this isn't even fair right here. Look at this. Jamal with the spin. Jamal, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20. Yep, nobody is even in the picture. That's how fast this guy is. We need a nickname for my new running back. So 17, I mean, uh, 7 to 14. I'm trying to get a pick, man. I started stacking the box. Uh, I brought in an extra lineman. He stopped running the ball for whatever reason. And he throws a pick six. I think he actually brought in Lacey for a couple of run plays. I might I might be mistaken, but he really had no reason to abandon the run game. I wasn't really defending it that well as Luke Keekley. Uh, we get the screen read out pretty good right there. Third and ten. Look at me trace this receiver. Mark him. Get the user. And you guys know. We have to cue the... Wait. Wait. We actually didn't score. So, I was down at the one, and he didn't want to give me the pleasure of doing a fade to Mike Evans or Calvin Johnson. Pick your poison, man. Both super nice. And with that being said, uh, we won the Super Bowl. We didn't get to see the celebration. Kind of an empty Super Bowl for uh, you fans that love saying empty stuff. It's kind of an empty Super Bowl. Not really, but... All right, so we get the, the I forgot what they call that thing. Whatever, whatever it is, we get it. And you guys see we have another master pack. We're going to go ahead and open that. And I'm just one away from getting a pack. I think it's a seasoned veterans pack that I get for doing that. Like, uh, th thank you guys for alerting me about that. And also thank you guys for pointing out my pulls. Uh, voice still a little raspy, but we're pushing through it. So you guys see we get some reward packs. And from now on, on all my reward packs, I'm going to reveal all. Uh, we got two gold badges, pretty nice pulls. So I could put these in a set to get an elite badge, and we reveal all again. And I accidentally quick sell the bronze badge, but yeah. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. More Mad 15 coming soon. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm Decoop, and I'm out. What's going on, guys? Decoop back again with another commentary, and this time, yeah, there is no face cam. Um, unfortunately, my face cam was acting a little funny.